Hello everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Lena and I make college and book related content here on YouTube. And today I will be trying to help you answer the question of whether or not you should go to St. Lawrence University. I'm a sophomore at St. Lawrence University and I've declared a double major in English Literature and Francophone Studies, which is French. I'm about to enter my second semester of my sophomore year in about a month and a half because I will be in the summer semester due to COVID regulations. Speaking of COVID regulations, I know that many of you may not have been able to visit the colleges you wanted to visit or get a feel for what these colleges are going to be like. And so today I'm hoping that this video will be a lot of help for you. I have made other videos in the past about St. Lawrence University, including one called Everything You Should Know About St. Lawrence University. I will have that linked in the description below. I also have a couple dorm tours and college freshman advice, which I will also have linked below. You should definitely check those videos out, specifically the Everything You Should Know About St. Lawrence video has a lot of basic facts that are helpful, such as location, weather, academics like general education requirements and that sort of thing. So if you are just looking for some basic information, then you should definitely check that video out. This video is going to be a little more opinionated and a little bit more about my personal experience at St. Lawrence University, which will hopefully give you insight as to how you think you would fit in or how St. Lawrence would fit into your plans. As always, if you have any questions about St. Lawrence University or even college in general, please leave them down in the comments below. I would be happy to answer them. covering five different topics in this video. The first one is academics, the second one is financial aid, the third one is the student body, the fourth one is things to do on and off campus, and the fifth one is partying. Hopefully within those topics you'll be able to find some useful information, but without further ado let's get into the video. So as I said the first topic will be academics. For some people academics are the number one priority, but even if they are not they should be pretty close up there because in my opinion you are going to college for the academics. Hopefully by the the end of the four years or two years or however much time you spend at college you will walk away with a bachelor's or some other sort of degree so that you can attend grad school or get a job that is related to that degree in some capacity if that's not the case maybe you want to rethink college St. Lawrence University is a liberal arts college, so its general education requirements reflect that. However, I would say that in the scheme of liberal arts colleges, it's not as liberal artsy as you would think. A lot of students will get into their tracks and stay in their tracks. I know many students who have never taken a math class or who never took a language um, and things like that because there are ways to get around the general education requirements. The most popular programs at St. Lawrence University are government, psychology, economics, business and the liberal arts, and biology. As I said, I'm double majoring in English literature and French. I can say that the English department as a whole, which makes up the literature majors and the creative writing majors, um, is a decently sized apartment. It is housed in Richardson and there are some really, really wonderful professors. It's a pretty close-knit community and there are many clubs and organizations to be involved in. From my perspective, at least as far as I can tell, it seems like the creative writing majors outnumber the literature majors, but that might just be me. On the other hand, the French department is incredibly small. I don't know that I know many majors who are specifically French. There are other majors who are have a combined major with French or are using it in their modern languages major but I don't know many people who are just using French as one of their majors or their only major so it's a pretty small department but it is pretty great as well. In my opinion the academics are not challenging at St. Lawrence University. If you went to an extremely rigorous high school or even if you didn't and you put yourself in rigorous programs and were heavily involved and um, spent like your whole day working and grinding, then I don't think you will find St. Lawrence University that challenging either. That being said, I know people all over the spectrum at St. Lawrence University, those that really struggled when they first got there and those that just did fine with the academics. Either way, it's totally fine. St. Lawrence University has wonderful supports like peer tutoring and office hours. The professors tend to be really, really accessible and helpful. 
The only reason why I would like to point to the fact that I don't find the academics challenging is because I know some people have a priority and want their college to be ex extremely academically rigorous and challenging and I just would like to say that in my opinion it is not. I took five courses this past semester which is considered an overload and I did not find that made the work more challenging. It was just more manual labor and so if this is something that is important to you and something for you to consider then keep that in mind. I would also like to say that the professors totally matter in the classes you take even if a class seems easy to you if you have a wonderful professor they will push you to do the best work that you can and you will find ways to challenge yourself the second topic is financial aid and for me honestly this was one of the biggest deciding factors when I was trying to choose my college st. Lawrence University gives out financial aid in the form of grants and scholarships. There are merit scholarships and then there are financial aid grants as well. When you receive your financial aid package, it's very important to pay attention to this, oftentimes because the merit scholarships will have requirements to maintain a certain GPA and things like that. And then the financial aid requirements are obviously reflective of your financial situation. The reason why I'm bringing this up is because merit scholarships, they can't take it away from you no matter how much your financial situation changes or shifts from year to year. They can take it away from you if your GPA falls lower. On the other hand, financial scholarships or grants can fluctuate if your finances tend to fluctuate from year to year, but they can't take it away from you if your GPA dips below a certain amount. So you know your own personal situation. Think about it. Some people's finances remain steady from year to year to year, and other families fluctuate up and down, and so it kind of matters if you have merit or financial or both, and that's just something to consider when you're looking at your financial aid packages from multiple universities. I know that not all universities and colleges offer merit scholarships, and this was an incredibly huge part of why I decided to come to St. Lawrence because they provide generous merit scholarships and I was really grateful to obtain one. So for anyone also that's looking into St. Lawrence and sees the 70,000 plus dollar price tag, just keep in mind that there are many different scholarships and grants and opportunities so that you won't actually be paying that full amount. The third topic is the student body and before I went to college I honestly believed that I could be fine at any college I went to and that any student body I could just fit into and blend in with um, and that's actually not true. The student body and the atmosphere, the vibe actually does matter at colleges. A small liberal arts college as I mentioned previously it is in the town of Canton, New York and because of this and other factors of the students who are drawn to this school it's not quite as liberal as you would think for a liberal arts school. That being said, there are many different liberal voices and many different liberal organizations as well as conservative organizations to balance each other out. Like many other small liberal arts colleges in the Northeast, there is a preppy, rich kid, kind of private school, boarding school vibe. It's unavoidable in my opinion. It's just there are students that reflect that stereotype and that's just the fact of it. That being said, I would say as a whole, the student body is incredibly friendly and easygoing and they're always holding doors for each other, saying hi, smiling at each other when we're not wearing masks. Just really friendly for overall. I would also say that the student body is quite outdoorsy because the things to do around St. Lawrence University tend to be in the outdoors, but if you don't like the outdoors, that's okay as well. St. Lawrence also has a very high percentage of its students engaged in student athletics. I was actually on a NCAA team for a little bit, but I quit after one semester. My only comment to that is that I think the teams can be a little clicky. They're not mean necessarily, but they can be a little clicky in the sense of parties and sitting together and having letting others be involved. Having lived both the student athlete experience and like the normal student experience, I can definitely say that they are different and you kind of have a different perspective of campus. So that's also something to keep in mind just because such a large percentage of the student body is involved in student athletics. I'm not bashing student athletes at all. I think athletics are incredibly important and wonderful. It's just something that I have noticed. Now on to the fourth topic, things to do on and off campus. So for those of you who know where St. Lawrence is or those of you who don't know where St. Lawrence is, it is basically in the middle of nowhere. It is about five times bigger than the town that I grew up in. The town that I grew up in has an extremely small population and it doesn't really have a downtown area. Canton definitely has a downtown area. There's a movie theater, there's lots of little boutiques and restaurants and fun things to do. There's 
there's also a farmer's market that you can visit weekly, which is really great as well. There are many, many churches if you are interested in attending services off campus. On campus, there are many things to do, including clubs and organizations. Almost everyone I know is involved in at least one club or organization, and there are so many to join or be involved in. And if you don't see anything you like, it is really easy to start your own club. I know many people who have done so. As far as off campus, it really, really helps if you can have a car. Everyone beginning their freshman year can have a car if they so choose, and you can drive to local areas to do hikes or walks. There are also trails on campus if you don't have a car. There are, the, near campus there is also the river which you can rent canoes. In the winter there's snowboarding and skiing on the local mountains. And in the summer you can swim in the local rivers. If you drive over to Potsdam, which is about 20 minutes over, there are many more restaurants and things to do in that area. There are also three colleges in the area, SUNY Canton, SUNY Potsdam, and Clarkson University. Obviously, in non-COVID situations, you can attend sporting matches and there are many more things to do on campus, but off campus there are also many options as well. It's just a lot easier if you have a car. And when the borders open, you can go up to Canada. It's a pretty short drive and there are so many fun things to do in Canada as well. I would say that because St. Lawrence is in such a rural area, there's not as many fun, exciting things to do like seeing a Broadway show or going to a museum and things like that. However, you just have to be a little creative and you can find fun things to do. Also, different clubs and organizations often plan trips that you can go on and do things like that as well. And the last topic, which is the reason why I actually made this video because someone requested it, is partying and the partying scene at St. Lawrence University. This is a difficult question. I kind of dodged this question in my previous video about St. Lawrence. So basically, St. Lawrence University is a party school. There's no way around it. I wouldn't say that St. Lawrence is special in its party atmosphere. There are many, many other party schools in this country and in the world. However, in my personal experience, as someone who does not party and does not go out, it it seems like the majority of the campus does party and does go out. I was also a CA this past semester and even in COVID times people were definitely partying. I personally am not into that kind of scene and I don't enjoy that kind of scene either. My mom made me actually my first semester or freshman year go out a few times. She told me that would be good for me so I took my water, my water bottle and just was dragged along to parties and while people were nice to me, people were not pressuring me, they weren't trying to force me to drink or do anything else. I just did not find them enjoyable. It's kind of hard to have fun at a party when everyone else is incredibly drunk and you're not. So at times, especially if you were a freshman or you were new at the university, it can feel a little isolating to not be into the party scene. However, there are other things that you can do and if you can find a group of friends that aren't into partying or like to do other things like play board games or have a movie night or that kind of thing, if you can find a group like that, then you will be okay. Part of the question that someone asked was if people are really there to do well in their academics or if they're just there to party and have a good time. Um, and I think that really depends on the person. There are some people at St. Lawrence University who are very focused on their academics and who do party and they do work on their academics and they excel in both areas. There are others who don't party at all and really focus on their academics and do really well. There are others who could care less about their academics. They don't party either. They just don't really care. And then there are others who completely party and don't care about their academics. It really depends on the person. This is why it's really key to the group of people that you hang out with. You should be hanging out with people that let you be you and let you do the things you want to do. Again, I just want to clarify, I am not bashing anyone for partying as long as it's done in a safe manner. If that's how you have fun, I'm not going to judge you. That being said, I just personally don't enjoy it and I am in college for the academics and the academic experience. So just to wrap that all up, if you're coming to St. Lawrence and you're not into partying, yes, you will be in the minority, but you will be okay, especially if you find a group of friends. If you wanna take your academics seriously and focus on that, no one's gonna stop you. No one's going to shame you for it. You won't feel bad about it. It just might be a little extra work. Those are all the topics that I am going to talk about in today's video. If you have any questions about St. Lawrence University or college, as I said, please leave them down in the comments below. As always, I love to answer them and I will see you all next week.